this is my challenge to myself to draw 10 different portraits of myself in 10 different styles. I thought it'd be really fun to see if you could try and guess which artist style it is before it gets revealed. The first one is a really recognisable style. Massive eyes, massive head, tiny body. So here's the picture I'm going to be using, which is me browsing for pens in a stationery store, which is obviously my own personal heaven and I think I spend far too long in them whenever I get the chance. <laughs> So, if you haven't guessed already, here's some of the footage of me playing as my character. And it is, of course, Animal Crossing! <laughs> so, I remember playing Wild World back in the day, when the graphics weren't as beautiful as they are now in New Horizons. So here's me. I'm actually drawing myself more to the picture than my character looks in the game. I chose to have grey hair in the game. And I have, which will be a recognisable trait <laughs> in all of my pictures, uh, brown hair at the top and then it goes slightly more blonde at the bottom. It's probably not the best hair dye ever known to man, but you know, I like it. <laughs> so here's the finished one. Um, every time that I show the finished one afterwards, I'm going to pop the character into a scene from the art style and you can let me know which one is your favourite in the comments if you want to. So style 2 I think is also really recognisable because it has really simple lines and everything seems to be quite elongated and if you haven't guessed from this little waving character there, it is from my favourite preteen books. Uh, which were by Jacqueline Wilson and the artist is Nick Sherat. Um, I owned so many of the books. I think my favourite one was Lola Rose and I am um, also Midnight and I remember actually going to see a theatre version of it once. But uh, yeah, this is me <laughs> as a Nick Sherat drawing. Uh, it was quite nice to do. Quite something I think the style, I've taken parts of it into my own over the years because I spent so long reading those books, looking at those pictures as a young adult. So there's me sticking myself onto the cover of the Illustrated Mom to see if it fits in. So style three, it's a little bit more nuanced and I think if I'd taken the choice to make myself into an animal, it might be a bit more of a dead giveaway. But if you've not seen the series, um, it's quite, um, quite a deep one. Sometimes it gets a bit depressing, but it's still really, really good. And that's Bojack Horseman. There's some absolutely wacky storylines in that one. <laughs> So my face shape, I try to fit it more to the characters, so I'm not sure it's the best depiction of me, but I like how different they all look already. So here we go with the finished one. And I'm going to take the liberty of popping myself onto one of the Arizona backgrounds, because when I went to Arizona, I fell in love with the place and I just want to go back one day. So, style four. Okay, this, I, I think it's a giveaway straight away if you know it because of the size of the eyes and as soon as I bring the desaturated colours in as well. If you know Tim Burton, you know how recognisable his style is and it will always have a special place in my heart. I really liked how it turned out and I can tell where the influence from his style as well as Nick Sharat's came into my own, especially if you look back at my younger work. So there's me. <laughs> I like that one. So style five took me literally about two minutes to do, so I've actually slowed it down from the sped up version. <laughs> it was so fun and honestly I can see, oh yeah this is where I almost did my paintbrush into my hot chocolate, which I've done before, and I fully recommend never putting your drink and your paint water on the same side. 
and that's how quickly it was done. I'm about to line it in biro, get rid of some of the lines and there we go. <laughs> Look at the hand. I love the way the hands are drawn in this style. It's Quentin Blake. And I took the liberty of just photoshopping myself onto Matilda. Pretend it's me that because I was obsessed with that as a kid. <laughs> Especially the film. Style Sip is really recognisable if you're a fan of the Netflix series because of the size of the eyes and the weird shape of the head and the mouth and everything. Um, my favourite character in that one has got to be Jessie's Hormone Monster, Connie. And she's voiced by Maya Rodolph. And if you've not seen it, it's some pretty dark humour at times, but it is really funny and it makes me cringe so hard at some of the themes and it's like you're reliving all the cringy moments of your preteen life honestly <laughs> but I don't particularly really like this style because of the like shapes of the eyes and everything but it's so recognizable that as soon as you start drawing the, the like sort of hooded eyes with the massive head I think when you know big mouth then you know that's where it's from so yeah I took the liberty of just photoshopping myself next to the whole monster, monster to see how I did. <laughs> Style 7, I think it changes over the years that this studio has been putting out work um, and there's film after amazing film and there's so many good characters. I think my favourite things from these films are always the way the landscapes are drawn and painted and the way the food is drawn there's just something about it that feels so like nostalgic at the same time as feeling like whimsical and just the manga style really influenced when I first started to really find my own style so like if you go through my childhood drawing books there's always these manga-esque characters and I always would be like can I have a how to draw manga book and things like that um I actually looked through some of my younger art books and honestly there's so many characters with just like manga eyes like massive heads and I think it did mess up my proportions when I do try and draw I'm forever drawing eyes far too big and heads too big <laughs> I decided Hal's moving castle and I love that room it's crazy uh, that's his bedroom I just pop myself on there um, style 8, okay so, big eyes, perfect features, um, what else can you say about this one? Ah, uh, they put out so many films, I think it's a lot of people's favourites, so if I had the chance to make myself into a more Disney princess-esque character, yeah, I'm just, oh, you know what, I've just got to do it. There's such an array of like good characters in Disney, but I do find that their faces do look very similar so I went for a sort of like mixture between old Disney and the more sort of animated Disney I don't know I just tried to capture the essence of it and I didn't exactly stick a tiara on myself but you know I was looking at Disney princess faces <laughs> so here's the finished one I think well, by not drawing the ears as well I was definitely <laughs> reminds me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast and I chose Rapunzel's room because hey we're all stuck in lockdown right now so yeah there's a nod to that so style 9 is my style um, if I was going to draw a more realistic portrait so I did use a grid and I did make the mistake of drawing my eyes a little bit too big um, even though this is a sort of like head down like picture anyway so my head is like proportionally bigger maybe that's why I Maybe that's why I like it. I used to struggle really a lot with drawing portraits and now I find if I just let go of the need for perfection and the need for it to look like a photorealistic drawing then um, I can just get on with it better. Yeah and I do out there in, in Biro quite a lot of the time and I've really enjoyed that and I think that's a little nod to the sort of Quentin Blake style. I don't know, it gets quite scratchy as well. So I can see that in there and the sort of more haphazard watercolour. 
So style 10, I decided to draw in my doodle style. And this is where I think it gets interesting because I can see the influence from the artist styles that I've chosen. So like Quentin Blake and Nick Shara and also Tim Burton as well with the more like skinnier features, which is just really interesting. I was coming up with this whilst I was drawing thinking, oh yeah, I can see where that might have come from. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching this video, let me know which one was your favourite. Also let me know if you agree with that's maybe where I was getting influences from and it's sort of become a part of my style. Thank you for watching so much, I really appreciate it, I hope you have a nice day.